In 1981, the Cannonball Run raced onto the big screen, capturing the hearts of audiences with its fast cars, outrageous characters, and star-studded cast. The Cannonball Run is a comedy film series. The original film, released in 1981, was directed by Hal Needham and starred Burt Reynolds, Roger Moore, Farrah Fawcett, and others. It follows a group of eccentric characters participating in an illegal cross-country race. But where are the iconic actors of this beloved film now? Join us as we take a nostalgic journey through time to explore the lives and careers of the stars of The Cannonball Run, then and now. First up, the charismatic Burt Reynolds, known for his role as the charming J.J. McClure. From Hollywood heartthrob to box office sensation, Reynolds left an indelible mark on the film industry. But what happened to the bandit after the dust settled on the cannonball run? Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds, born on February 11, 1936, was a true icon of Hollywood's golden age. As I recount his journey, I stand in awe of the man whose charisma could light up a room and whose talent knew no bounds. Biography and career. From humble beginnings in Waycross, Georgia, Burt's journey to stardom was as remarkable as the roles he played. With rugged good looks and an undeniable charm, he burst onto the scene in the late 1950s, setting hearts aflutter and cameras flashing. His breakout role came in the television series, Gunsmoke, where he portrayed the character of Quint Asper. But it was his transition to film that truly solidified his status as a Hollywood heavyweight. With iconic roles in classics like, Deliverance, Smokey and the Bandit, and, The Longest Yard, Reynolds became synonymous with the epitome of cool. Most successful roles. Among his many successful roles, Burt Reynolds will forever be remembered as the fast-talking, wise-cracking bandit in, Smokey and the Bandit. The film not only showcased his comedic timing and penchant for mischief, but also cemented his status as a box office powerhouse. Most prestigious awards. Throughout his illustrious career, Burt Reynolds garnered numerous accolades, including Golden Globe and Emmy nominations. However, it was his role in, Boogie Nights, that earned him critical acclaim, culminating in an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. Sadly, Burt Reynolds passed away on September 6, 2018, at the age of 82, due to a heart attack. Though he may have left this world, his legacy continues to live on in the hearts and minds of fans everywhere a testament to the enduring power of his talent and charisma. Roger Moore. Roger Moore, born on October 14, 1927, was a distinguished English actor whose name became synonymous with sophistication and suavity. As I reflect on his life, I am reminded of the man who embodied the iconic role of James Bond like no other. Biography and career. Hailing from Stockwell, London, Roger Moore's journey to stardom was nothing short of extraordinary. After serving in the British Army during World War II, he found his calling in acting, honing his craft on the stage before making the leap to television and film. His breakout role came in the hit series, The Saint, where he played the debonair Simon Templar, captivating audiences with his charm and wit. But it was his portrayal of the legendary MI6 agent James Bond that catapulted him to international fame. With seven iconic Bond films under his belt, Moore redefined the role infusing it with his own blend of sophistication, humor, and undeniable charm. From the casinos of Monte Carlo to the snowy peaks of the Alps, he brought Bond to life in a way that captivated audiences around the world. Most Successful Roles While Roger Moore's tenure as James Bond is undoubtedly his most iconic role, his versatility as an actor extended far beyond the suave secret agent. From his early days in The Saint, to his later work in films like The Cannonball Run, and The Wild Geese, Moore proved time and again that he was more than just a one-dimensional star. Most Prestigious Awards Throughout his illustrious career, Roger Moore received numerous accolades, including a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and being appointed a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador. However, it was his knighthood in 2003 for his services to charity that truly highlighted his impact both on and off the screen. Roger Moore passed away on May 23, 2017, at the age of 89, after a brief battle with cancer. Farrah Fawcett. Farrah Fawcett, born on February 2, 1947, was a radiant star whose beauty and talent illuminated both the small and silver screens. As I delve into her story, I am captivated by the woman whose iconic smile and golden locks captivated the world. Biography and Career. 
Born in Corpus Christi, Texas, Farah's journey to stardom began with dreams of becoming a dancer. However, it was her stunning looks and undeniable charisma that caught the eye of Hollywood. After making waves in commercials and guest appearances on television, she skyrocketed to fame with her breakout role as Jill Munro in the hit series, Charlie's Angels. But Farah was more than just a pretty face. With a natural talent for acting, she transitioned effortlessly between television and film, earning critical acclaim for her performances in movies like The Burning Bed and Extremities. Most successful roles. While Farah Fawcett's role as Jill Munro in Charlie's Angels remains her most iconic, her diverse body of work showcased her range as an actress. From her Emmy-nominated performance in The Burning Bed, to her portrayal of a rape survivor in Extremities, Farah fearlessly tackled challenging roles with grace and conviction. Most prestigious awards. Throughout her career, Farah Fawcett received numerous accolades, including multiple Golden Globe and Emmy nominations. However, it was her courageous portrayal of domestic abuse survivor Francine Hughes in The Burning Bed that earned her critical acclaim and a well-deserved Emmy nomination. Farah Fawcett passed away on June 25, 2009, at the age of 62, after a long and courageous battle with cancer. Dom DeLuise. Dom DeLuise, born on August 1, 1933, was a comedic genius whose larger-than-life personality lit up screens both big and small. As I recount his life, I am reminded of the man whose infectious laughter and boundless energy brought smiles to audiences worldwide. Biography and career. Born in Brooklyn, New York, Dom DeLuise's journey to stardom was fueled by his innate talent for comedy. With a knack for improvisation and a flair for physical humor, he quickly rose through the ranks of the entertainment industry, making a name for himself in television, film, and on the stage. His breakout role came in the Mel Brooks classic, The Twelve Chairs, where his uproarious performance stole the show and endeared him to audiences everywhere. From his memorable roles in films like Blazing Saddles and The Cannonball Run, to his partnership with Reynolds in the Smokey and the Bandit series, DeLuise's ability to bring laughter to even the most serious of scenes made him a beloved figure in Hollywood. Most successful roles. While Dom DeLuise's comedic talents shone in countless films and television shows, it was his role as Captain Chaos in The Cannonball Run series that remains one of his most iconic, most prestigious awards. Throughout his illustrious career, Dom DeLuise received numerous accolades, including a Golden Globe nomination for his performance in the film, Silent Movie. Dom DeLuise passed away on May 4, 2009, at the age of 75, due to complications from kidney failure. Dean Martin. Dean Martin, born on June 7, 1917, was a legendary entertainer whose smooth voice and effortless charm made him a household name. As I reflect on his life, I am transported back to a time of glamour and sophistication, where Dean Martin reigned supreme. Biography and career. Hailing from Steubenville, Ohio, Dean Martin's journey to superstardom began on the nightclub circuit, where his velvet voice and magnetic stage presence captivated audiences far and wide. It wasn't long before he caught the eye of Hollywood, making his mark as a member of the iconic Rat Pack alongside Frank Sinatra and Sammy Davis Jr. His smooth crooning and charismatic persona earned him a legion of devoted fans, propelling him to the heights of fame. But it was his versatility as an entertainer that truly set Dean Martin apart. From his chart-topping music career to his successful forays into film and television, he proved time and again that he was a force to be reckoned with. Most successful roles. While Dean Martin's musical career produced countless hits, it was his role as Matt Helm in the popular spy film series that remains one of his most memorable, most prestigious awards. Throughout his illustrious career, Dean Martin received numerous accolades, including a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award and multiple Golden Globe nominations. Dean Martin passed away on December 25, 1995, at the age of 78, from acute respiratory failure resulting from emphysema. As we bid farewell to these legendary entertainers, their legacies continue to inspire and entertain us. From the laughter of Dom DeLuise to the smooth melodies of Dean Martin, and the electrifying performances of Sammy Davis Jr., their contributions to the world of entertainment are immeasurable. We invite you to share your favorite memories of these iconic stars in the comments below. Let us know which of their roles touched your heart or made you laugh until you cried. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more nostalgic journeys through Hollywood's golden age.